This is Anime at Large. Not your average school life experience, part two. So welcome to our podcast. This is Ed. Nicole. David. Jessica. Reed. And hope you guys are having a great day. So uh, what we're talking about today is more school life. And specifically, we're talking about Gabriel Dropout. Okay. And if you don't know, Gabriel Dropout is about angels and demons. Upon passing uh, school in heaven, graduating angels are sent down to earth where they must learn about humans and guide them through the correct path in order to become true angels. However, Gabriel White Tenma, the top angel in her class, becomes addicted to video games upon arriving to earth and turns into a complete slob as a result. The story follows Gabriel along with her other angels and demons who have descended to earth as they attend high school. So, Angel Slab. So, what do you guys saw of the show? I I still it's, want... Like, it's a good show. But in the first episode, she's cleaning her room, and then she hears, Help me! from the computer. And the game that she starts playing is already up. Already loaded and everything. Installed. Installed. Logged in. All she has to do is create a character and start playing. How did it get that way? Bloatware. The demons, they tricked her. Who I mean, knows? seriously, like, if it wasn't for that weird little thing, she never would have gone down the nice path. path. Wikipedia claims there are two OVAs, which I have not seen. Maybe that tells you how? Um, <laughs> from my experience with OVAs, they, they usually don't. don't explain anything. I, mean, I haven't watched it, but I did see that there are two OVAs. But not every MMO you have to install, so it could right. have just been an but online it, one. RuneScape exists. Yes. But, I mean, if it was, she had something up, like, you know, Angel Network, Angel something up, and then it was a little, like, side advertisement, and it started playing, like, you know, a little yeah. commercial ad for it, and she clicked on it. I could see but this was already full screen, like you already logged in and you just walked away from your computer to get some water, go to the bathroom, and came yeah. back, and you're like, oh crap, this, you know, other character needs to be healed. Okay. Well, maybe she wanted to experience more of human culture, so she tried it out for just like but a little But she didn't test. even have her character. Yeah, she she was in field. She was in field, created a paladin. And MMO, oh, okay, she, okay. She was a healer, healer. okay. Was healer. But still, like, usually when you start off in an MMO, you start off in a little town and have to do some sort of, like, oh, here's how this world works. But she was already in field, able to heal in that second. Like, oh, yeah. create my character, in field. It's like, that's Suddenly not... healing everybody, and suddenly out of MP, need to buy a new item. Right, it's like, that doesn't work with any game I've ever played. <laughs> I'm never just like, and you're thrown in. It's just like, no, here's like the introductory town that you have to go through because you need to know how the controls, you need to equip stuff. Because even if she's a healer, she's not going to have really a great staff or anything. Yeah. Unless you pay or all the Or you're going to have very basic garb. But it's just like, but she already looked like she was like, oh, I already have like a little out, a cute little outfit. I got a wand. I like, mean, like, wow, just the whole, like, just buy a level 90 account or something. That's not how she does, though. But she only starts buying when she's like, I need more MP. Oh, Because she, she can't leave spot. those people to suffer. She has to heal them. Right. So that's what got me first stock. So I'm like, why is this game already totally installed and she's in-game, in-field, but she doesn't have a character even yet? Should she hack somebody else's, you know, account? Like what? I don't know. I can't explain that, it. That, that bothered me because that led down to the whole path of her being, you know... I just don't know how gaming turns her into a slap. More importantly, how does it make her lose like her motivation to help people? That's the well, one I didn't really get. If this is, she loses her motivation to help real people. She is all about helping her online friends. But like, she went pretty quickly from saying like, oh... That was a bad party, or in the sense from being like the "I'll heal anyone regardless" sort of. Yeah. Mentality. Oh, the, oh my god! That was kind this of a party jump. Sucks. Yeah, like that's a pretty Can big jump in that first episode of yeah. like. 
Well, I don't know how much time there is from her starting the game to no next time. seeing her in her school life. Maybe a month, I would say. Yeah, they don't give away. They, I'm just saying they don't give the time frame. But it's a pretty now. quick turnaround that, and she Less looks like she's year, gone more than a, a week. day. <laughs> yeah, because she's gone pretty far down into the MMO rabbit hole. Yeah, because. Like, like, you don't just suddenly turn, like, I'm going to leave trash everywhere in my apartment. Yeah, and if she creates trash that fast, then... Wow! Yeah, that's pretty amazing, actually. Yeah. I do like in the show that they bleep out the cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> people don't like cockroaches. There's a cockroach, but you yeah, don't get to see it. I think yeah. it's mostly because people don't like seeing cockroaches. But it's a cartoon cockroach, not a real cockroach. Right? I've seen cockroaches before. But, I mean, if it looks like it's crawling across your screen, maybe someone's going to try and whack it or something. <laughs> Actually, oh. yeah, that might be... I remember those, like, um, the posts where people put, like, like a spider, like, picture that would look like it was on top of your screen, so people would, like, just overreact or, like, throw their phone or something. First off, who would use a phone to kill a spider? Well, no, if the spider's on your phone. Yeah. Oh, you open, yeah. the, you open an image it? that makes it appear uh. like an optical illusion, like it's on top of your screen, and people would just, like... Toss their phone right. out of like. Get it away. Okay, I yeah. see what you mean. I don't know. This anime is not realistic enough that any cockroach should have made you feel like it was real cockroach. Why? Right? It's like, That's oh, true. this cartoon cockroach. I think it's real. It's like, wow, then you have some Do issues. Do you see an eye doctor? <laughs> yes, maybe maybe they need an optometrist. Uh, right, look at the swirling of the glasses. Okay, so I feel like in the show you don't actually see much school life. There is the occasion, mm-hmm. like. Do, do you ever see sc- school life? Do we ever see people actually like learning or like going that's through the educational process? That's the classroom we did. Yeah. Like, that's an exception. Learn. I'd say. Gab did answer questions from the there teacher. There was a couple blackboard <laughs> scenes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I feel like most of it does not actually take place at school. It's either at Gabrielle's house or uh-huh. another location. Yeah. Like there's the coffee shop. I like that coffee guy. He is super into his coffee. Master. Yeah, he's yes. a master. He's yeah. very, very happy with his own house wow. blend. Yes. Did you guys notice on the Christmas or some episode where they talk about Jesus that mm-hmm. Master was Jesus? Yes, on the it Christmas? was the Christmas one, and I totally noticed. I'm like, I'm like, is that Master supposed to be Jesus? <laughs> totally Master <laughs> as Jesus. But yeah, no, I I did notice that. I just kind of thought, Interesting whatever. Choice. Whatever. They just there are what, two adult male characters in the show? Master and their teach- sunglass teacher. Right. Who totally looks secret service. Yes. Did, which did also the Gendo pose when they were doing the interview Oh, scene. yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that interview. <laughs> I wonder which one you would actually, you know, hire for a position. Like, well, we have... Why did they do group interviews is what I want to know. Why wasn't one-on-one? Unless he just wanted to get them done faster. But it was the two demons together. Why? It's like, who are our other characters? Okay, we talked about Gabrielle. Why? And then the other angels are Raphael and Tapas. Tapas. Oh, yeah. Tapas. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, Tapas. yeah which happens She's in like, two episodes. I think. Well, she's, she's in the first angel. episode. She and then she visits twice. So she, technically, she's in she three loved times. Gabrielle. So like mm-hmm. you see her in the first episode when Gabrielle's leaving heaven, and then you see her a couple times in a few other episodes. And then there's Vine, who's a demon, and Satanya Sama, who's a demon. Yeah. Owner at last angel, who is the worst, Raphael. <sighs> Complete. Sadist. Such a sadist. Well, this is the show where all the angels <laughs> act like demons, and the demons essentially act like angels. Well, it's pain and stalking. She's still an angel. So all the ones that are currently on Earth yeah. going to school. So does that mean going to Earth makes you the opposite? Change? Well, we never no. see either of the demons... Like, before they came But hurt. based on the trip back to hell and the parents, it seems like... Well, Vina, I don't think she changed at all. No, I, I don't think she... always super nice. Because her parents seemed angelic. super nice. Yeah. So I think she was just essentially a failure as a demon. Yeah. But so were her parents, so it's all good. 
Because um, they took like, in the little monster that was hurt. <laughs> well, there's, well, VA was always too nice. Because, like, she had to talk to Master about how to do bad deeds. Yeah. <laughs> What can I do that is bad? Right, like, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> wear your school uniform slightly incorrectly. Don't button up your cardigan. Uh, <laughs> wear, get some you know, baggy socks. Get some baggy <laughs> socks. They essentially look like a Yankee from the 80s. Because, <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, so Tanya Sama, like, kind of knows how to be evil, but is just really bad at it. I won't take off the, the cap. cap <laughs> I hate I water bottle. It. Even though it specifically has a little spot for the caps. Which is... <laughs> Such a bad deed. Yeah. I think she thinks I that... I didn't her... do my homework. How terrible. <laughs> her, like, evil deeds are very elementary. Yeah. Yeah. Mild annoyances at best. <laughs> yes. Right. Nothing that would part. ever be considered evil. Just, oh, that's kind of inconsiderate. Well, or... I know at some point in time, Gabrielle says, just kill someone. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, no. Like, why don't Too they much like, for the show. Why don't they, like, <laughs> you know, encourage someone to shoplift or, you know, something like that. Start off small. Oh, Still that's just, stop, 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 that's stop like stop above side. evil. That's like beyond. Oh, right, right. I don't know. They're so... Bad at being uh, bad. I, like I think in that first then episode, instead of recycling, she should have just thrown the plastic bottle in the trash. She shouldn't even put in the recycling. Yeah, in the bottle recycling, she should just throw well, it in the two trash. Two seconds later, Gabrielle comes back and just tosses her <laughs> half full juice. Right, and spills <laughs> it everywhere. And didn't and, care. Yeah, it's time to like goes to get her away. and cl- ends up cleaning it up. Yeah, after losing it, rock paper scissors because that should matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors is how you make every decision in Japan. That's Unless it. you're in some sort of card game anime, and then obviously that's the way to do it. <laughs> well, no, because you have to do rock, paper, scissors to figure out who goes first. Oh, of course. Thank you, David. How did I miss that one? It's Japan. <laughs> <laughs> that's how oh, you Oh, David. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, but, the bad deeds are just so, so kitty that it's like, no, it, it's like, wow, the bad things you did is just like, look at America. A lot of people don't recycle. <laughs> okay, my other question is, we know Raphael is a sadist. Yes. And in multiple scenes, we see a, like... I feel like every other character losing their stipend from either heaven or hell for not being either good or evil. Yeah. What Does about Raphael her? ever lose her stipend? They never show it. Because, like, she is, like, the evilest of all of them. But is it just okay because she's only evil to demons? I mean, maybe she's still doing other good deeds to kind of balance. You're implying uh, she had one to begin with. That is true, actually. You don't think like she had a stipend? I don't like her think family she ever... was just rich. Yeah. I know that I know they show, and her family yeah. is totally rich. I I don't think it even mattered. I don't think she ever got it just because she didn't measure up to it. And but also, no, just I didn't... wasn't sure. When they did the heaven interview, they're like, "I'm increasing both of your stipends." Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so okay. she yeah. didn't have one. Yeah. Well, I think with her, she's just. It just ha- doesn't matter. Well, she has the ability to make everyone think that she's still pure and innocent and good. Where she can hide it. Like, she can go through her whole life making everyone think that she's doing good oh. when she's not. Oh, and when she was talking to the little white dog that always steal the melon bread, people would always be like, oh, you're feeding this lost dog or the stray dog. Even though she's like, okay, steal the melon bread. Mm-hmm. So everyone thought she was doing a good deed by taking care of this animal. When really... She was she's just being using that mm-hmm. right. to So get maybe back the in. people thought, oh, she's such a good person. Maybe that's how she did it. Yeah, over. She's just good at manipulating people. Yeah. Yeah. She is. But she does pick Satani Sama, Sama, who is the easiest person to manipulate ever. Oh, she is such an easy target. Because it's so fun and easy. Like, yeah. It, she doesn't even have to try. And she does have her slip ups. My new toy. Right. <laughs> 
Which I, I think mean, is for the user or the viewer, I mean. Yeah. I thought she was the best part, to be honest. Well, well, you like Satan so much. Do you like Raphael? I'm talking no. Raphael is the worst. No, I can agree. She, she, she is. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> the head down. As There's we've talked about more. before, my favorite episode with Raphael is the episode about her bra being too small and just hoping to get through the day without well, it breaking. Well, it's physical education day of... Yeah. You know, test your running skills. I, I like to see her struggle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. This feels a bit revengeful. <laughs> it was. was. And honestly, she should just put on a different bra. I don't know why she doesn't own a sports bra. Right? For gym class? Totally. Because I don't know which girl in real life wears her everyday bra to gym class. I was get you fucking sweaty. You don't need to have that. No. Sports bras, they work and she obviously has the money to afford one, I mean. Yeah. One thing I was never terribly clear on, were they in middle school or high school? High school. High school, because okay. middle school was what they graduated in, yeah. the, in heaven. Okay, Ohio. the heaven hell. Okay. Yeah. So they are high school students. Now, I, I mean, everyone looks like they're 12, so I, I forgot sometimes. It, it yeah. is hard to tell. Understandable. Yeah. I just know. They said high school. Yeah. Or Wikipedia declared high school, so I'm just going. Well, I'm pretty sure it is high school because they were not elementary school, especially no. with that bust size. No. <laughs> it is Japan, though. And yes, anime. <laughs> but women still do not go through puberty that yeah. before the age of nine. E- even Japan nine is will... the earliest. Most yeah. girls, twelve to thirteen. They should, but they have. It said high school somewhere. Yeah, I know. I was pretty sure it was high school. Because um, why would they be doing job interviews then in middle school? That makes sense for high school. I don't know that it was a job interview or if it was a college interview. Well, well no, because they're like, well, why, you know, promote why you yourself. Yeah. Yeah, they were, it, it was a job. A job. Eh, Which I actually thought was kind of nice that they were teaching, like, how to do a proper job interview in high school. Because mm-hmm. yeah. that would have been nice to have been able to have done. I would have hated it. Oh, I totally would have hated it, but then later on I would have been like, that was actually useful. It would be. Just like it would be useful to learn how to do your taxes. Yes! <laughs> you know, if Home X was really like, you know, here's life as soon oh, as you have a job. Home did not exist by the time I was in high school. I didn't take Home because they didn't make us. They took it away from my school. They are like, no one took this class. We're not going to teach it anymore. <laughs> I just remember somebody using the broiler as a spot to put their textbooks, and I think the broiler got turned down because it caught on fire and we had to leave the school. And we were like, why did, why did we have to exit the school? And then passed, because I was on the first floor for class, and we saw like a forklift taking like one of the stoves away, and we're like, oh. And we I found did out. enjoy their home episode where... Satanya brings in that devil fish. Uh-huh. You mean the devil angler think, fish? <laughs> they somehow think cooking that will be a good idea. And it ends with Gabrielle saying, we should have at least followed the recipe. Right. Because <laughs> oh, they're just going to do whatever they wanted. Well, yeah. What I found amusing was like, you know, they had to bring their own ingredients and supplies. Like, if I'm taking home ec, I'm expecting them to, to provide <laughs> stuff for me to use in this. I'm not bringing my own stuff. Did they have to bring their own, or did yes. they just have yes. that fish? No, because then Gabe no. had to bring the, yeah. what, tofu and something, yeah. because she brought, because, like, potatoes, the, carrots, yeah. and onions, because she wanted curry. Yeah. yeah, because they had to bring their own supplies for these things. Like, if I'm taking this class, I'm expecting to and be provided with ingredients. Do you really want your students to, to bring cook. in raw fish? Where are you going to store that? Because I doubt that was the first class of the day. Just, it was just not put your locker. <laughs> I but love my... Somehow, in the shoe locker. Satania's <laughs> fish was still alive. It was a it demon fish. It slapped her in the face with its tail. It was a Did demon not. fish. Well, they, they even made the comments like, wait, this thing's still alive. <laughs> you should at least kill it or it should be dead because it's out of water. Yeah. But it wasn't a demon fish from hell, so. That could affect things. I don't know why cooking that ever seemed like a good idea. I don't know. 
it's like, well, from hell. It, it's, else? it's still meat. You can still use it. Just have to kill it, slice it up, you know? And you saw a little meat spirit. <laughs> yeah. This is how they cook it. I don't know. The I color it was, was looked like poison no matter what. <laughs> so you're saying they were doomed to begin with? If you have the right seasonings. Hey, you have to start with proper ingredients. Right. And I do not think that fish was a proper ingredient. I don't know if that was an actual edible fish. I mean, maybe it was, but hey, we all know that not all fish are edible. Puffer right. fish. I might be a vegetarian, but I'm not eating any fish whose muscle tissue is purple. The thing, it's yeah, not the right yeah. color. Thing is, in Japan, there is a way to eat some sort of puffer fish. Yeah, but it's like this little tiny piece. Oh yeah. It's but what much. I'm saying is, <laughs> they had like steak-sized slabs of this fish oh, yeah. fillet, I guess. But it's just like I, I don't think that was edible. Definitely not by high school students. <laughs> Unless you're what taste deaf, I believe they said. Yes. Yes. Tanya-sama is taste deaf. Which is why when they're at the cafe and they have the three yeah, curry puffs, yeah. there's the strawberry curry puff, I believe the vanilla curry puff, and the super spicy curry puff. Mm-hmm. Who would make that? And but Tanya eats let. it and thinks it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, she also loved the... The udon? S- the udon well, with yeah. the seven spice. The, the, the seven whatever. shakes of spice. <laughs> I feel like this was more than seven shakes. Oh, well, hey, it's good. And they're just like... You should try it too. No, no, like, I yeah. did like that though. <laughs> Seven shakes. It's like one, two, wait, what? Whatever. Those oh, shakes, shakes aren't strong enough. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Start yeah, over. Yeah, just start no, over. no, you're doing it wrong. Do it again. <laughs> one, two. Well, it is. Like, I do love every time someone tries to pull something over on someone and it completely fails. That is good. Because <laughs> like. Gabrielle was trying to get at Satanya Samba and it was just a complete fail. Mm-hmm. And then Satanya gets her back accidentally. Yeah. You should try this too. You know, that was an evil deed. <laughs> that was an actual evil deed. This is really good. Oh, no. She didn't mean for it to be, but it was. No, she didn't mean for it to be evil. And I still don't know if you can count it as evil because Satanya did buy all three of those udons. That is true. That's yeah. true. That's so if someone bad. poisons your free udon. You could just choose not to eat it and get your own. Yeah, that is true. Though she was doing so well on trying to teach him how to buy udon from the cafeteria. (laughs) (laughs) But she did think that the kitsune udon actually had fox in it. Yeah. I don't remember what the other one was. Yeah, I forget oh. what the other one was. One was Fox, and the other one was something else. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. I mean, if I didn't know the word Kitsune was going in, going in, I could see that. Honestly, even though I would never eat Fox, I'm not against people eating it, so. I would just assume that they wouldn't actually make Fox udon. I don't yeah. know. Then again, there's strange flavors out there. Any country that does not see the fox as a cute animal might be okay with eating it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm just like, in China, where people do not see dogs and cats as pets, I do not blame them for eating them. I mean, especially how much they reproduce. I mean, I I I could never do it because I love... But you've had cats as pets. Yeah. Or dogs as pets. So you can't do it. Right. So, I couldn't either. But if you don't see it as a pet, I don't feel the need for you to treat it like a pet. As long as it's not mine. Yeah. Fair enough. I felt the same way when I learned that they raise guinea pigs as livestock in South America. It's a kind of... You could actually put a fork in that, because I don't think I could. I've had too many of them, and, like, yeah. they're snuggling you like that. I don't think you can... I've never had one, but I still wouldn't want to eat one. I don't feel like there'd be enough meat on most of them. No, right. I don't think it'd be worth well, it. Well, they populate pretty well. Yeah. I and mean, for... to mountain, uh, like, communities where your resources are slim. I could see that. I I, I know with the size, it, it'd be similar to eating a small rabbit, but... And yeah, they do breed, like rodents, because they are rodents. Yay, rodents. <laughs> like rabbits. Yep, rabbits are rodents. They breed very well. You can get a lot of them. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know. I can never blame people for eating something that they don't see as a pet. Yeah. And technically, foxes aren't pets. No. Yeah. They're just cute. Yeah. And some people have them as pets. Are you supposed to, though? No. There are certain varieties that are legal to have as pets. I would not oh. recommend it because they have a funk to their smell. That oh, is like a musty... A, like a ferret. Oh. <laughs> you know, people love ferrets. They're so cute. They smell awful. <laughs> they, they do have an odor to them. That is foxes. But there are a few varieties that have been domesticated. Okay. Like, they'd be expensive, but in Michigan you can own a marbled fox. Hmm. But I was not aware of that. And it's totally off topic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's More okay. about Gabriel Dropout. What else happened in that show? Not a whole lot. There's a lot of weird scenes. It was very episodic. Yeah. I do did enjoy that they both started and ended the show with Gabriel trying to teleport and epic failing. First yep. teleporting just her panties. Uh, I, I like the bowing. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, the boys going to a desk and being like, thank you, God, thank you. the magical you. panties float down. Well, if you're in your classroom and you just see a pair of panties just materialize in the air and I can see lay p- down on a desk. I can see boys going to it and be like, thank you, God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. They are angelic. What are you going to do? Right. <laughs> yes. And then it ends with just with her, her skirt. skirt. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could see guys doing that so i don't know why she's not practicing her teleportation why skills and going more. to like i'll teleport from one end of the room to the other oh i lost to this item of clothing well at least it's still in my own apartment <laughs> forethought there are none yeah i don't think she plans things at well all. and anytime yeah. anything goes wrong with her she just wants to end the world with her first horn of the apocalypse mm-hmm. yep which she just happens to yeah, have yeah why does she have it <laughs> well i think she's it is it out. i think that is something but, that's well she was her. the number one angel in high school or but in middle school so i think other angels are more uh, well maybe it's students just to hold it or maybe they even might be more suited whenever. to hold it, but maybe because of who she is, she is just allowed to pull it from thin air. Mm-hmm. Maybe, I like don't... it's in like a random holding space in yeah. heaven. She can just summon it. Mm-hmm. It's for the number one. Angel. Honestly, other angels aren't going to just randomly summon it. So it's probably yeah. just sitting there so she can summon it whenever. Yeah, but yeah. like, still, she's still a high school student. Maybe like the best one. She's like the valedictorian. Mm-hmm. But would you hand like? A nuclear launch code to high school students still be <laughs> Oh, yeah, of course, never. Well, this is magic, though. So like a magical said, nuke. We can <laughs> just summon it. I think this has something to do with it. It's supposed to be her destiny. Like, it was preordained by God that she was supposed to do this thing when the time comes. And for some reason, you let a teenager decide the time. <laughs> Yeah. Which is anytime anything goes wrong with her life. Well, I mean, nobody's supposed to know the time, date, or season when the world ends, if you go with the Bible. Yeah. So if it's based on the whim of a high school angel, then yeah. It's going to be over something entirely stupid. Mm-hmm. But you I don't know, know the whole class seeing your panties isn't necessarily entirely stupid. And they don't know that they're hers. Yes, they put down her desk. desk. But how could they prove that they're hers? And I'm assuming she has more than one pair of panties, because if you don't, there's an she issue. She hadn't done laundry, because she was not going to school that day. <laughs> maybe, but you could just put on the previous day's pair. Gross as it may be, it's not the worst thing in the world. Or tomorrow's pair. <laughs> I said it might have been laundry Forward day. thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Again, for that. <laughs> not Gabe's strong suit. No, just video games. Yeah. Video games are great. Uh, That's a statement I can get behind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily support her choice in video games, but yes, video games. She are. plays some of the worst ones, but I mean. Yeah. To each their own? Yeah. yeah. It's more that, yeah. I'm sorry for everyone who likes MMOs. But it didn't even look like an in depth MMO. But of course, they're not going to create a whole game within the show. The thing is, they didn't really explain too much about that, what that MMO yeah. really was. Yeah. Except. All it was was that she needed to heal people. Yeah. And yeah. that she saved two countries. She, two who whole are on countries, the brink yes. of, you know, destruction. Yeah. Mm hmm. So. 
just love how you save countries with like Gab's uh, explanation and you, the other ex explanation is nothing to do with saving countries, even though they're in the same country to begin with. <laughs> it's like, who do you believe? <laughs> well, the other one could be like doing stuff like, oh, I went to this small country, I saw that it needed help, she I does helped it. have that teleportation right. skill. Mm -hmm. Just because she's not successful successful at using it, doesn't mean, doesn't mean they God know. knows. That is and serious. apparently the principal wasn't paying very close attention to her doings because it's like, whatever, okay, I don't know what you're doing. Tell me. I'll raise your stipend. I'll raise your stipend if you're, if you're doing good in the world. <laughs> Well, yeah. someone is watching them, because their stipends do raise and lower kind of randomly. Right. It's probably And at the end, her sister internal. does her sister. know that she's pretty much being an oh, man. good for nothing. Don't get me started on that. But other than that, though, I thought they were pretty lax when it came to, like, all their actions. Yeah. I thought for, like, how much they were like, oh, this is going to be, like, your growth period, and you're going to become a full-fledged angel, et cetera, whatever. They'd be a lot more like draconic. They had no guidance on Earth. Honestly, I don't understand why there aren't more levels. Like, why isn't there someone who just finished high school as an angel that is watching over the new high school angels? Right. Like, essentially, they're like your apprentice or it's your like, why do they, senpai. Why yeah. do they each have their own apartment? Why isn't there like a building that is owned where a there is a house room. mother like watching right. them? Like, this is the angel house dorm, this is the demon house dorm. It's all yeah. good. They want to show independence. This series was not meant to have a functional system. But you could still have, <laughs> it's 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 could still have a dorm yeah. head. You could still, yeah, you could still have independence and have someone guiding you. Yeah. Because these are people who know nothing about the world. Like, you see Tapas come in there and she doesn't know how to use a computer. But right. She thinks the mouse is a hamster. It's a good meme. And she comes in essentially wearing, like, an astronaut suit. <laughs> and then a gas mask. And then a gas mask. Because something might be harmful. Obviously, they don't know anything. No. Yeah. So, like, why are you throwing someone in there when there could be such a learning curve without any guidance? Yeah. Then again, I think she was the only one that actually came in with the gas mask. Everyone else didn't come. So, apparently, you learned that in that last well, year Well, obviously, Tap is, is a hypochondriac. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Yeah. But, but still, they should have had... Some sort of like guidance counselor yeah. or you know dorm lead or yeah. something or someone to be like, hey, we're gonna do checkups on you. Like, make sure if you have any questions, we'll help you get assimilated into the human life. You know, or someone like a social worker who yeah. does random house calls, right, <laughs> to make sure you're still alive and not in some sort of terrible danger. The system was set up to fail. It was. The comedy wouldn't be there without this. Also, how did Gabrielle's sister survive her years on Earth when she has such an incredible fear of dogs? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she just teleported whenever she saw one. She seemed to think That's that she lovely. could not make it. Yeah. Living with Gabrielle, whose apartment does not allow dogs. Right, but there was a dog there, so, oh my gosh. The dog's gonna leave. So. so, in the end, how do you like the show? It's not the best, but it's not terrible. It's a fun watch. Yeah, it's comedic. It's... Yeah, it's, like, average, but it's a fun little watch. Yeah. If you don't care about plot, I think... If, well, you, if it's something that you just, like, I just need to... I just want to watch something that's kind of funny and nonsensical. Yeah. You need I to turn off your brain. Yeah. yeah. If you overthink or if it, you... you just watch some creepy horror and you need something to... Detox. <laughs> level you out. <laughs> yeah. So you can sleep at night. Good yeah, show. see, if you want a show with plot, this isn't the one. But if you want a fun show that you can just, you know, watch and just enjoy yourself, enjoy the the show, this is it. You know, you get the first episode or a couple episodes that introduce characters, and then it just goes. Like, yeah. This is a show that, you know, like some other gag animes that can go like 
hundreds of episodes. I mean, if they wanted to, they could do just random stuff, but it's just 12 episodes that you can easily watch. Yeah. Just have a good time. Yeah. Oh, there you go, guys. Watch it. We approve. So on to the next segment here of what we've watched recently. Um, Lee? Oh, boy. <laughs> um, just... I guess I'm personally probably reviewing Psychopaths if we're talking about that for the next episode. But Seems like you need to re- rehash, re- re-look at the show. I need to remember what happens in season two. I don't know if we're going to do season two. I don't think we will, but... He but wants need to. Know to. You. I need to know for my own personal like satisfaction. That, I guess, I was playing eventually starting sitting down and watching all Pat Labor. No. That was going to be a... I was going to watch the six episodes that were the OVAs. Then I was going to watch the movie continuity. It's quite a bit. And then there's the whole series if I want to like have a separate timeline to watch. But I want to watch the OVAs and movies. So that's probably going to be next them for me soon. Funny enough, more police. More police, actually. But we're probably not going to be talking about that one. Not directly. But we can if... Considering how far you want to borrow my high dive account... Hey. It's all on there. Jessica? Um, pretty much still watching some Shonen. Uh, my plan is to watch some more key visual because those shows just... Get you in the heart. They get you. They really get you. And it's they're generally really good stories that... If you want to be sad. If you want to be sad. But sometimes it's okay to be sad. I don't like being sad. It is a sad happy. A it way. is a happy sad though. Yes, it because usually sad. good things actually happen, sad. and it's not like everyone's still just miserable at the mm-hmm. end. The problems get solved. Yeah, it tugs your heartstrings, things get solved, and then you're happy because everything works out. But then you still are like, oh my gosh, this one character story. I prefer my comedies. But, but they that, start happy and they end happy. But they can be, they can be both. Sometimes I, I remember, need some um, emotional depth. After story is like perfect mix of like the real sads and like kind of an uplifting like happy resolution mm-hmm. like not so much a spoiler but there's this one scene where he has a conversation with his dad and like that one's just like oh mm-hmm. oh yeah because where I am in the story now they do not get along no but. After story takes a lot of the relationships from the original series but and isn't like, it like a little fleshes bit out mm-hmm. what Later. those. Yeah. It explains why the premise of the original series right, which is, is the way it is. Which key visual is actually really good with <laughs> just fleshing out the story and oh, yeah. actually giving like the backstory, and you're like, this makes sense with these characters now. And so. what they do with his father, especially, is like a really good like narrative arc. Right. Just because, like, I think the original series, it's really just he's just a drunk, and that's like all you yeah. really ever told. Mm-hmm. And you just see him have disdain for his dad when he like leaves and goes, essentially. And, like that's it. After yeah. story, we'll take a lot of those characters that were just kind of in the background. It's like here's how they arrived here, and you're also probably usually many times get sort of a redemption, sort of like happy conclusion. Yeah. They're good tears. But, uh, yeah. David? Yeah. Um, you know, still doing some of the shines like Black Clover, and, but kind of what I want to get into coming up is my love for Gundam. I want to go back and rewatch, like, all the universe century. Just go through, kind of, like, chronological order. Just go through all of it. Just rewatch it because it's so expansive. I need so, to do that. Yeah. Universal mm. Century, Gundam. Um, Nicole? Recently, I finished all of season one of Food Wars, because why not? Good point. And ones. still watching Fire Force, and another one I'm watching is, um, what is it, from Commonplace... Oh, I'm to sorry the... you had to watch that. Oh, from like Common Place to the World's Strongest. Yeah, yeah. are you are you Fueta? I like it so far. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm watching you that don't too. Like it, right? I I read. I'm still reading the manga. It's 
it makes a good vengeance story occasionally. But man, there's a lot of fluff at the same time. Just like so fan far, service. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Like, I forgot. Yeah, I, I'm watching that one too. I actually like it so far. I'm waiting was, for the vengeance. I'm waiting for it. I think I like it because it's a bit reminiscent of uh, Name the Abyss, which I want to watch more of, but there isn't yet. <laughs> there are some similarities that I enjoy. Like, I don't think it's going to be the best show ever, but I enjoy like, it. No, not like, I, oh my I, gosh. I'm, I'm not must. like current where they are in the anime or like where you're at. I, I'm, I've read to a point where like, you know, they're well beyond that first hundred floor thing and like they're out in the rest of the world and like um it's like where i'm caught up is they just met the um rabbit who can see oh the future. yeah sheila whatever her name is. i don't remember her name she's yeah. not important <laughs> um <laughs> yet it's like i don't think she's ever gonna be important she's i don't know not that far she can yet. see the future but she's a ditz like It promises vengeance, and maybe it'll come eventually, but the most you're going to get, my fellow, is just like... Uh, well, the, aven- the vengeance isn't what's important to me. It's the only thing and that's really I... driving me along at a certain point. But he seems to actually be at the point where it's like, I don't need to get vengeance. I don't even care about home. that now. Yeah, like, I just oh, yeah. want to go home. Screw this world. Screw even all these people. I don't think he's going to be happy to be home because he will not belong there anymore. Yeah. Depends. Will he go back to being normal, or will he still have all he can't the be normal. Like... issues he's currently having? <laughs> I, I should shut up, because I know how it sounds. Yes, shut up. Don't ruin it for us, Reed. <laughs> yeah, I'll shut up. It depends on what you're in the story for. I'm like, So far, I'm enjoying it. That rabbit will never be important, because all she is is tits in your face. Oh, titty rabbit. <laughs> That's so overdone. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's going to be there for a long time. I didn't know, but she's never going to be important. Not to you, but... <laughs> for the fan service, she will be. She'll be there for a very long time. I know. <sighs> I'm just saying, she'll never be important. In sure. Nicole's heart, <laughs> yes. she will never be important. Ed? Alright, so what I'm watching is uh, talking about more from the police side from Reed, Copcraft. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not watching it. That show is such a shame because there was <laughs> the ability. Lie. You're not watching it. We watched three episodes. We've not gone back to it. I'm watching it through. Um, I I will come Why? back. It's okay to stop something if it sucks. Your time I, I, is more important. I want to hear what we. I'm one episode behind at the moment, but I feel like I should stress. The premise isn't a bad idea. It's basically gate, but it's a police procedural, essentially. With Sundari. Okay, Sundari. Twin tails Sundari. Twin tails. Oh, Twin tails Sundari. It. <laughs> it all makes sense now. So he was willing to watch it. I the, was curious. The it opening. It could have been funny. I thought it was going to be funny. It is just weird so far. The opening is catchy as hell. It's a great song. Yeah. I I would argue it's out of the opening. It's a taste. It is a good song. But um, the worst thing is that one of two things happened, or maybe three. A, they did not have enough budget. B, they're just trying to cram too much and too little. Well, so far, every episode is like a cliffhanger thing. I would prefer if they could like tie things together in a couple of episodes. There's, there's no like real like... It's not a good pacing because you get all these awkward cuts where it's just yeah. like... I remember in the very first sequence when they're going up to the top to get to the one wizard guy. There's a couple seconds where, oh, there's some that's shooting fire spells at us. But they'll never shoot eclipse. They explain, where did that fire spell come from? What did we do to dodge it? It's just, there's fire spells and we ran past it. And it never wants to explain or show you. The pacing's just atrocious. And it makes me sad. Maybe, I don't know. I want Copcraft to be better. Don't blame you. Yeah, because I can get you on the pacing. Because it, it feels like every episode was a cliffhanger at a super awkward moment. I'm just like, 
the episodes do not have to be episodic, but <laughs> could you at least end it in a way that doesn't feel weird? I just want them like to slow down and like really just it feels like it's rushing but without like any grounding because like there are fast-paced shows that yeah. move but it's almost like it's skipping frames and like sections where it needs like another four seconds of animation to like complete an action and it's so it's, it's tanky ha- yeah it's it's hard to talk about and especially a audio form of a podcast. Without, so it's like, like when they didn't have enough frames in the old shows and it was kind of stiff and just lacking. Well, there's that, but like the plot structure itself feels like you're just... Thrown like, around? I feel like I'm reading a bullet point list of a screenplay than I am like... Uh, is there anything else Ed yeah. wants to talk about that he's watching? Well, um... I'm sorry. And... Analyzing and criticizing everything you're watching is always the best part. <laughs> That's why we're doing this podcast. That is exactly why we're doing this podcast. Um, besides that, coming and going on Triple X Holic. Yeah. Should watch more of that. Good show. So I have not watched it you, yet, huh? so I'm watching it for the first time. But that'll be the main things I'm watching. Um, also, good opening song that Ed sometimes does not agree with. The first opening? Yeah. That's actually a really catchy opening. I like it. It's Ed does not like it. It's catchy. So any final remarks, guys? Watch more anime? Yep. So for next time, we'll be going to a new genre, which if you haven't been paying attention to with Reed here, um, apparently he has to watch some uh, Psychopaths. Season 2 specifically. <laughs> Series two's villain, I remember having a very bizarre background and motivation. But we're only really talking about the first season because that's like the best one. So and indeed is true. Um, so next theme will be police. So we'll be looking into psychopaths. Hope you guys are wanting to hear more about it. If not, you can watch it before or just hear our ramblings about not how we liked it. Or when. Not. <laughs> when this man will get a happy ending that's what I'm hoping for I'm guessing that doesn't happen but I haven't watched it so I don't know <laughs> I watched some of Psycho Pass not finished season one it was so dark so that means you guys so have dark. some work to do <laughs> yay homework <laughs> let's see if we complete it in time alright hope you guys have a great day see ya bye